morning. It's December the 10th. This is my first trip out on my own, uh, carrying boats and so forth since uh, July when I developed a little heart issue. Uh, everything seems to be back to normal and I'm uh, headed out on the St. Sebastian River here today. The weather here in Sebastian is just lovely. Temperatures in the 70s, light breeze, relatively low humidity, little chance of rain. Um, just perfect. And uh, I'm trying out uh, the Elaho, which uh, I bought uh, some time ago, I think it was November, uh, and have done some work to get it back in shape. And we're going to try it out. I'm going to see if I can make the uh, rudder system work, uh, uh, among other things. So um, this is the first time out. Here's the Elaho. Here's the way it looks. It's not set up completely the way I would like it, but it's not going to be my boat either. So here it is. Great looking boat for one that's probably over 10 years old. I paid a really good price for it. Here's the entrance to a little creek on the St. Sebastian that I really never noticed before, so I'm going to poke up here and see what's going on. Well, I've already seen more wildlife in this little channel in the first hundred feet than I've seen on the whole rest of the river. A great big blue heron just took off over my head and about a six-foot gator just slipped quietly off the bank about a hundred feet ahead of me. I'm going to paddle on down. I see a house up in here. I uh, don't know where this is or where it's going, but we'll just follow it for a while. These are Brazilian peppers. They're pretty, but they're invasive. They come in and they take over. They were brought in as ornamentals and uh, they've just escaped into the natural environment and just uh, drive out the native uh, plants. Well, the rudder system on this boat is uh, different than on most. Um, in most boats, the, uh, the uh, foot pegs slide on a rail, uh, which turns the rudder. In this case, the foot pegs are locked in place, and you use your toe at the top part of the foot peg to um, push forward um, to activate the rudder. Um, it seems like a great idea, but in this case, the, it seems a little bit uh, stiff. Um, I don't know if it's just because uh, I'm breaking it in, or if that's the way the thing works. You don't have to. You don't have to push very far to get turning out of it. So it's not. Uh, it's not like it's a real problem that way. But um, uh, I'm still. The jury's still out on this rudder system, as far as I'm concerned. Um, uh, and, and we'll we'll see how it works as we use it more. really tight through here. Well, we're on the upper St. Sebastian River here uh, and it's getting pretty overgrown. You're not going to see mangrove tunnels here because we're in fresh water not brackish or salt and uh, mangroves don't grow in fresh water so the vegetation here is all fresh water vegetation but it is growing in over the river pretty tight. Uh, I'm going to try to get up to the um, Route 510 um, canoe launch uh, before turning around. Okay, there's a monster alligator on the bank up ahead. Uh, it's going to be interesting trying to get by him. Well, this is the bank where he was. He slid off the bank almost as soon as I uh, stopped filming and has disappeared. Well, it's about noon. It's taken me about two hours and 40 minutes to get up uh, here to this takeout. Um, and uh, I stretched for a couple of minutes, had a little water. I'm going to get back on the water and head back. It's going to take me another two and a half hours to get get back to the takeout uh, down by my house. And uh, I'm hungry. Didn't bring anything to eat, so I want to get going. Um, but here's the here's the scene here at the takeout. It's 
It's more river to paddle upstream, but I'm not going to do that today. Heading back this way, lots of snags. The current's moving fairly, fairly good. This is a quick post strip on the rudder system. Um, after I uh, took my break at uh, canoe uh, launch and uh, at five uh, five ten. Route 510, um, my battery went flat on my camera, so I couldn't add anything more. What I discovered was that I had fed the uh, rudder cables in two different ways, and on the one side it was actually binding, uh, catching in a little groove and binding up. So today I straightened all that out, uh, fed both rudder cables the same way, and the system seems to be working fine. We'll know next time we go out. Another postscript is that I continued to see alligators as I paddled back down the river, one of which just didn't move. It was about a five, six footer, sat with its front legs wrapped around a log, at dozing, and as I went by, and it did not dive into the water as most do, but just kind of laid there and watched me. Pretty interesting, and I also saw a very large manatee just kind of drifted down to where he was, and he was feeding quietly and then ambled off into deeper water when he became aware that I was there.